welcome back to Love Your Food. Last week we made that amazing, delicious uh, butter chicken curry recipe, and this week we're going to use some of that curry in the curry mayo that we're making to go with these deep fried, um, basically cauliflower nuggets. Um, uh, now we use a little bit of uh, interesting flour on this, but here's our ingredients. So obviously we're starting with some cauliflower. We have our curry gravy from last week, some coconut flour, an egg, some buttermilk, some curry powder, some mango powder, some of our homemade hot sauce, and this is a, a turmeric and citrus that we made at home, uh, some mayonnaise, some fenugreek, some cumin, some black pepper, coriander, a dried chili pepper, and you can just barely see a coriander seed poking up from underneath the uh, pepper there. Now, like we did with the curry, we're going to toast our dry spices. And all of most of these spices are already in the curry that we're using the gravy for to make the, uh, the mayo dip for this, the curry mayo. But we're still going to double down on those spices. So we toast them like we did the other ones. We're also going to toast our ground spices. So that's the curry powder and the mango powder. We're just going to toast them very, very briefly in a dry pan. And meanwhile, we're going to um, grind up those ones that we've already toasted. We're also going to add in our, uh, our gravy. So this is just some of the gravy. We tried to avoid, you know, getting chicken or anything in there. It's just the gravy from the butter chicken last week. Now, of course, this was cooked with chicken in it, so it's not vegetarian. But uh, if you use a dal curry or anything like that, uh, something with chickpeas instead of uh, chicken, that's fine. You can use that uh, for this as well. Now, we uh, added just a little bit of water to this because it was very, very hot. Meanwhile, we ground up all of our whole spices, and that's going in now. Once again, we removed the pips from the inside of the coriander. And we're just going to get that all uh, mixed together and heated up again, uh, just to sort of, again, wake up the flavors from those dried spices and uh, get everything nicely cooked together. And then reduce it down until it's um, sort of a paste, honestly. And this is going to be the basis of the flavor in our dip. Now we're sort of doubling down the flavors here because we're going to be mixing this with a bunch of mayonnaise. So we want to make sure that uh, it's got a good intensity of flavor so that when it's mixed with the mayo, it still tastes like something uh, other than just mayo. Now for the cauliflower, we want all of the pieces to be roughly the same size. You don't want them too big, um, but you also don't want them tiny or they're going to kind of fall apart. Um, so we're just going to try and get everything roughly the same size. You want to be careful you don't uh, cut through all of the branches. Uh, so that they hold together a bit. And we're just going to blanch them very, very briefly. So we've got some good hot boiling water here. We're just going to blanch these very, very briefly until um, the outside looks a little bit cooked, um, but not cooked all the way through. These are going to cook all the way through in the deep fryer, don't worry. Uh, but we did want to just give them a very, very sh uh, short head start. And then we didn't want to cook them too much. So, I mean, we take them out of the water and then they immediately go into an ice bath. We're just going to let those gingerly sit in the ice bath for a little while so that they uh, stop cooking right away. And then we're going to get our uh, flour and uh, egg mixture together for the deep frying. Now, we used coconut flour here, and it was very interesting, although we don't know that we would do it again. So you might want to just stick with regular flour for this. The coconut flour didn't really leave a, a super crisp outer coating, although it did brown nicely and it didn't impart as much of the coconut flavor as we'd hoped. So, um, you know, it was sort of a mixed bag. I quite liked the texture. Uh, Chef Kayla wasn't a huge fan. So uh, really, you can try it if you'd like, but um, we are going to recommend in, the, in the, the description below, in the instructions, uh, that you just use regular flour. Meanwhile, we're getting our egg, a little bit of salt, and uh, the buttermilk together for the egg wash. And then in goes our drained and uh, cooled uh, pieces of cauliflower. And you can see that very brief blanching has really brought out some green in it, honestly. It was uh, a little surprising, but uh, there you go. So once you have a good coating of the flour on there, that's going to go into the egg wash. And I mean, if you want, you can uh, finish this with another kind of uh, coating. We went from the flour to the egg wash, and then once it was well coated with the egg, we went back to the um, coconut flour. You could also finish this with breadcrumbs. You could finish this with uh, crushed chips or uh, even cereal, whatever you prefer. Uh, we're, we're just doing this uh, with the same flour that we started with. 
and we wanted to make sure that everything had a good coating on it. One of the other difficulties with the um, coconut flour coating is that it did come off a little bit in the uh, in the fryer. Now these this first batch came out quite nicely, but after that, uh, some of them did come off, and it was very tender. So when you used your uh, coconut or your um, cauliflower nugget in the dip, uh, some of that coating would definitely come off. And you can see here, these are beautiful. They're nice and golden brown, and uh, that cauliflower is cooked all the way through. So we're just going to set that aside to rest for a little while, uh, drain. You're going to uh, hit that with a little bit of salt right away. You want to make sure that it's well seasoned as soon as it comes out. Meanwhile, we're going to get our, uh, our dip together. So here goes our tropical turmeric uh, hot sauce. You can use whatever hot sauce you like for that. This is a, a very citrusy um, and turmeric heavy sauce, which is going to impart a lot of color and that really nice, uh, rich turmeric flavor and some of that, you know, citrus zing, as well as that paste that we made from the curry. So you can see it's thickened quite a lot. Um, but as soon as you mix it in with the mayonnaise, of course, it's going to thin out and, uh, that flavor is going to diffuse a little bit. That's why we doubled down with the spices at the beginning. And then uh, from here, it's just a matter of, uh, well, not throwing them all over the place, hopefully. But we wanted to uh, give it a little test with the, uh, with the dip here. You can see a little bit of that coating comes off right away in the dip. So it is a very tender coating. So uh, as I said, I do, we, we do recommend, if you want to try this, uh, you might want to use regular flour, the coconut flour honestly didn't impart a whole lot of coconut flavor to this, so um, regular flour will give you a more traditional kind of crispy outside coating for your, uh, for your delicious uh, cauliflower nuggets, and uh, we hope you'll give it a try. If you like this recipe, please do like and subscribe, and if you have any recipes you'd like to see Chef Caleb try on the channel, please let us know in the comments below. And remember to love your food.